Howdy, I'm John. I had a couple of extra NVMe M.2 drives left over after I upgraded my motherboard with bigger, badder, newer generation ones. I thought I'd put these older ones to use on the PCIe lanes rather than the SATA connections where their speed cannot really be realized. For this, I needed a dual PCIe enclosure to plug them into. An adapter. I chose the Akasa because there seem to be some good reviews. Here's my take on it. First off, the packaging is nice and attractive. I like the RGB idea for this. It comes in an ESD bag, which is standard. Not a lot of padding or anything, but it's a durable unit. You get an itty bitty screwdriver for the tiny itty bitty screws you'll be wrenching on. It's handy that they include this. Most folks won't have a tiny Phillips head like this. You also get instructions. I'd advise looking them over, at least quickly. It's pretty standard, so I only opened it up so y'all could see. When taking it out, avoid touching anything shiny and golden. You don't want to cause corrosion on them delicate parts. The unit itself feels solid and durable. You can see the RGB area. Turning it right side up, we see it plugs into the motherboard in the conventional way, but it uses two slots. It uses PCIe 8 slots, but it can fit into the PCIe 16 slots, of course. I kind of hate using up all three of my big ports when we include the GPU, but they don't do no good just sitting there anyhow. They do give you thermal pads to contact the heat shield wicking heat away, but I don't think I took a picture of them. There are four screws on the top side that need removal. When the heat sink is off, we see that there are copper plates for the drive to fit over with a tiny air gap in between. The end of the drive has to be secured to the little riser. But the riser was set to a 60 millimeter size, so I had to unscrew the back side holding the riser with a fat finger. Then you remove it to the correct hole, reverse the sequence. The finger holds the riser in place so the screw can secure it. Here's the benchmarks of the drives I'm setting into place. The Samsung 970 EVO Plus. The 970 EVO is an M.2. They have the one slice out of the golden pins at the bottom. There's other types that have other configurations, but they won't work in this unit. Here's video from when I originally put these same drives into a motherboard. That's why it's helpful to learn about your computer. You can reuse parts. You place the M.2 into the slot. It goes in a bit of an angle like a diving board. You push it down and add the screw to secure it. This way there's a space under it for airflow. Then you place the thermal pads onto the drives. They have a plastic coating you pull off to reveal the stickiness. Stick the pad onto the drive, then you peel the plastic off the exposed top and place the heat sink enclosure over the tops. It can be tough to move it around once the sticky pad makes good contact, so line it up good in the first place. Line them holes up and screw confidently. Now we have to attach a tiny 5 volt wire for the RGB. One end will plug into the appropriate header on the motherboard, the other end plugs in here. Before we insert into the motherboard, we must remove the PCIe cover first. Now we insert the adapter into the PCIe slot. You sometimes have to push and wiggle a bit, but make sure you've got everything aligned before you press too hard. And you secure the screw at the top there. The second cable gets inserted into the PCIe slot above the unit. Then when everything is powered on, if data is being transferred in or out, the blue light flashes. The back of the unit has a tiny button that allows the RGB to change color. Every short press gives you another color. Press and hold for three seconds and it connects to a motherboard RGB as long as it's all hooked up correctly. Using this unit, I've mirrored the drives to act as a backup to my scratch disk, but I now have them as part of a five drive spanned column that gives me four terabytes as backup to my main storage drive. 
Yes, if you have the NVMe on hand and need to use some fast connections, this works just fine. Well, thank you much. Like and subscribe. Watch me add more parts onto this big old rig here.